All right, Ruby, we're doing our exercises for Tuesday, May 5th. And we're gonna go ahead and start with our warm up today. Today's warm up is a round the house warm up. So we're gonna do each exercise one time around the house. And Ruby, we're just gonna start with a jog. So go jog around the house. All right, our next one, Ruby. This time we're gonna run around the house. So it's faster, run around the house. All right, Ruby, now this is a new one. We're gonna do walk on the moon, okay? This is a leap, so we're not skipping. We're leaping from one foot to the next. One, two, that's it. All right, yep, those are big hops that we do on the moon. For the last one today, Ruby, we're just gonna skip around the house. So go ahead and skip around the house. Today for strength training, you have a choice. You can do the Go Noodle activity that I'll put the link down below in, uh, or there's some exercises that we're gonna demonstrate with Ruby. It's a good thing it's a tough camera. All right. All right, Ruby, first exercise today is burpees. You ready? Mm -hmm. So, all right, so we're gonna jump. We land, hands by the feet, we kick out, we bring the feet in, and we jump again. One, two, three all right ruby now we're gonna do a one minute plank so hold a nice strong back 1001 1002 1003 all the way to a minute you guys all right we're gonna do ski jump so we grab our imaginary ski poles and then we jump to the side and back two three four five now we're gonna do quadruplexes so we're gonna go down onto our hands and knees and now we lift our right arm and left leg and now opposites, left, right, right, left. So the opposite arm and the opposite leg come up each time. Ruby, now we're gonna do plank jacks. So the arms stay pushing and the legs do the jumping jack move. So we're doing jumping jacks with our legs while in plank position. The last strength exercise today is lunges. We're gonna do 40 lunges, you ready? One, two, three, so you can do them in place like Ruby's doing, or you can do them while walking. Ruby, can you show me how we do them if we just keep moving forwards? One, two, three. Today's activity is for accurate throws. So you can pick a target. Ruby happens to have a cornhole game at her house. So we're gonna use that for our accurate throws. Otherwise, you could just uh, draw a circle on the ground, or you could lay down a plate or something to try and get your bean bags to. If you don't have a bean bag, uh, you can use tennis balls, uh, but they'll roll. You could use a rock. You can use whatever you have. If you're indoors doing this, use something soft, like a rolled up sock or something. All right, Ruby. So we're trying to be accurate. We're going to throw, try and get them in the cornhole there. If not, let's see how close they get. Oh, that was a really close one. Good. Good. Oh, she got one right in there. All right, nice, Ruby. Now, next time we're gonna bring the bean bags and we're gonna go a little bit further away and we're gonna just keep practicing further and further throws until we have it down. Now, instead of underhand tosses, we're gonna start doing overhand throws. We, we're gonna get a target. You can ask your parents whether you can throw if you're using a softball or a bean bag against the house or against the garage. Uh, we had a target that we're gonna use this box over here. So that's gonna work pretty well. And then, so now we're gonna do our overhand throws. So we're gonna reach and try and hit it. That was really close. Nice. Let's see how many times we can hit it in your six throws that you have. Right. So we did four out of five that time. So now we'll challenge ourselves. We'll keep going until we get all six. Ruby's finished all of her self-practice. So she did her tosses and her throws. Now, if you have a brother or a sister or somebody in your family that can go out and do some throwing and catching with you, go ahead and go do some partner throws now. So Ruby, in your homework, you had these uh, two pages that have the stretches on them. We're gonna pick five of these stretches that you wanna do. You can just put a little check next to the ones you wanna do and then we'll go over and do them on the mat. The first one you chose was Cobra. So we're gonna lay down all the way against the ground. We're gonna put our hands right underneath our elbows and then we're gonna flex our back as we push up and nice Cobra. We can hold this 20 to 40 seconds. Just keep taking nice deep breaths, breathe in and out to let your body relax. Now we're gonna do child's pose. So you're gonna rock back onto your knees 
You're gonna sit your bottom against your heels, and now we're just gonna fold forward right at the hips until our forehead's on the ground. We're gonna relax here for another 20 to 40 seconds. All right, now we're gonna do cat. So go to all fours, so knees and hands. Now cats get scared, they arch their backs up really big, so we round our back. Uh, push back just a little bit so your hips are going straight down into your knees, Ruby. A little more, yeah, right there, that's it. Now, nice arch back. Now we'll hold that for 20 to 40 seconds. You can bring your chin to your chest so that it rounds your neck as well. Yep. I got a spider on me. Uh-oh, you can fix it. All right, Ruby wanted to do the laugh. She's, she's gonna stand up. She's going to put, put her hands together at her belly. She's gonna do a big belly laugh, so she's gonna fill it in her hands. You ready, Ruby? <laughs> So the belly should go in and out, in and out when you laugh, ha ha. Now we're gonna do our tree pose. So for tree pose, she's gonna balance on one leg. She brings her foot up to her thigh. If you can't get your foot to your thigh, you can bring it to your knee or your calf as well, but she was able to bring it all the way up. That's awesome. And then, so she'll do this side for 20 seconds and then she'll switch. Go ahead and switch, Ruby. And we'll do the other side for 20 seconds. Oh, and now we have mountain. So she's gonna stand on both feet now. She's gonna press her hands together and she's gonna push them up as tall as she can, like the tallest mountain, the tallest peak out there. She's gonna hold that for 20 to 40 seconds, trying to reach, you should feel it in your shoulders. Now we're gonna do limp noodle. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lengthen your body so you wanna get your head as far away from your feet as you can. So you're gonna just stretch, 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 stretch. And now relax, let everything go limp like a noodle and just let your body relax into the ground. You should feel heavy all the way across your body. If you feel yourself tighten up somewhere, make that muscle relax. Now this one you guys can hold for a couple of minutes. If you want, just close your eyes and act like you're taking a nap. 